Okay, this section we will talk about the medium voltage drive, uh, part A. So for medium voltage drive, with the uh, medium voltage motor, the power rating is uh, typically from 400 kilowatt to 40 megawatt. Uh, this is generally speaking, but sometimes you know you have a uh, big motors, which was driving by uh, uh, VFD. Like my company, uh, Nanco, we have we build a uh, largest uh, uh, mini voltage drive in the world for a 120 megawatt motor. Uh, this is a kind of a 18 kV dual winding motor for the test uh, bench. Then for the voltage, the typical voltage from 2.3 kV and to 10 kV. The majority is from 3 kV to 10 kV. And for the medium voltage motor, the majority is a fixed speed. Only about 3% is driving by the variable speed drive. And for those you see uh, uh, driving by the VFD, uh, majority is by the load type is a pump, fan, and a compressor. And uh, a very few, uh, uh, a small portion of uh, uh, the load is uh, we call the non standard or engineered drive, like uh, a roller mill for the steel industry or the uh, some test bench. This is a, a typical composition of a medium volt drive. We have the rectifier, which convert AC to DC, and DC filter. DC use a capacitor or reactor, then the inverter DC to AC. And sometimes, you know, on the motor side, you have a filter. Also, most of the medieval drive, you have transformer in the input side. And sometimes you need a line and a filter. And here's the power supply. So we'll talk about some uh, 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 typical structure for the medieval drive. The first one is the LCI. It's a very old topology. L is load commutated inverter. Uh, they use SCR for rectifier and the reactor for uh, in the DC filter and uh, also SCR on the inverter side. So because SCR you can uh, turn on use the gate but you cannot turn off with the gate. You need to uh, put the SCR on the reverse bias to on the AK, on the main terminal to get turned off. So the motor, when you run the, uh, the, the inverter, the motor should be overexcited to get to make sure the current of the motor is leading the voltage. So the uh, SCR can commutate it, can turn off. So this is why we call the load commutated inverter. They use load, the, the simplest motor, to do the commutation. You cannot use induction motor for this kind of uh, drive topology because you need the current leading the voltage on the motor side. And on the uh, rectifier, rectifier side, also use the SCR. SCR. So the uh, power factor will be very low at the uh, uh, low, low power output. Like uh, if the, the, the mode is run at a very low frequency, Then you know the load is very low, and the uh, because of the uh, firing angle, the face ang face angle of the uh, uh, rectifier CR, so the uh, current on the uh, input is lagging the voltage uh, with a very large uh, degree of lagging. So power factor is very low, and also the harmonic. You know, uh, uh, if you use a six pulse, the harmonic is very high. Also, you can, but you can have some uh, uh, method like the multiple input to reduce the harmonics. And this is a typical current uh, waveform on the uh, open side. Okay, the similar on the line side. And this is the uh, uh, the waveform is like a trapezoidal and not a, a sinusoidal waveform. And this is the actual waveform on the motor side. You can see here's the voltage, motor voltage. Here is the current. The 
calendar is trapezoidal, and also the uh, the calendar is leading leading the voltage. You can see the waveform, and here is the output torque on the most side because of the um, harmonics. So the there, there is a significant torque ripple on the uh, both side six times. The so ripple frequency of uh, the torque is six times the fundamental frequency of the output current. And uh, in order to reduce the harmonic, uh, people you can people use uh, two sets of uh, C ALCI to drive the motor. The motor you can use the six phase motor with two state winding winding and the thirty degree phase shift. To, to cancel some of the torque ripple harmonic on the motor side. And on the line side, you know, you will use the three winding transformer. So the signal, be, signal of transformer will be one with Y, another with the delta, and the 30 degree phase shift. So a lot of harmonic will be canceled by this kind of uh, multi pulse rectifier, uh, like a fifth and the seventh order harmonic. Majority of those harmonic will be canceled. The, the main, the only left harmonic will be, as we discussed before, will be Kp plus minus 1. And here P is 12, because of 12 pulse. So the majority of harmonics will 13, 15, uh, 11, 13, and the 23rd, and the 25th kind of the majority of harmonics. So. In a lot of cases, you know, 12 poles still cannot meet the uh, uh, IEEE standard or other standard. So you will have to set an extra power filter and also a uh, power factor correction because of the power factor is very low on the low, 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 uh, low condition. And here's some comparison between the VSI and LCI. LCI actually is an uh, older technology and uh, it's used very few and few today. Uh, in some very few applications to use LCI, such as a huge drive for the, uh, uh, for the uh, pump or blower system, especially for the uh, soft starting, you know, like uh, on the blower for the steel mill and uh, the drive is only used to start the motor, and after start, then will be synchronized to the grid and run by the grid. So drive is only running for a short time, a short period of time. So harmonic is not a big issue, and LCI is cheap. So those area, you know, still use LCI in a lot of cases, especially for the uh, drive in, in, on the condition that drive will run for a long time, always running. You know, people will. Uh, uh, Prefer to VSI. So some comparison for the uh, harmonic. So VS drive, you know, the power factor is very good because they use uh, uh, diode as a rectifier. Normally, you know, very very low degree of la of lagging between the input current and the voltage. And also harmonic is good. You know, typical VSI, I will use uh, 24 pounds or 60, uh, 36 or even higher uh, rectifier numbers. But LCI, you know, typically is a 12 pulse maximum. So still very high harmonic, cannot meet the IEEE standard. So you need a harmonic filter or perfect correction. And talk ripple, VSA use a PWM technology. So output current waveform is very good, very sinusoidal. But this one is a trapezoidal waveform. So the uh, talk ripple is very high. Power factor, as we said, because of the diode rectifier, and this one SCI rectifier because of the lagging of the current on the input side. So, power factor is also low, and the power system stability big difference, and the AC power disturbance we call the uh, low voltage right through function. In vo uh, VSI is quite easy because you have a, a capacitor on the DC bank. You know, and the rectifier is diode, and if there is power right through, power, power, power out, or power, you know, voltage reduce, power loss, then you know you can use the kinetic uh, energy uh, feedback function as a right through. And but LCI because 
of the SCR on the rectified side, you know, you have a poor disturbance, then disturbance, then you know the SCR firing will be will not work, so will shut down. So it's quite big difference. And the motor VSI, you know, typically using you can use a standard motor, especially for those with the uh, VSI with the uh, multi-level output, you can use existing motor or old motors. But for the LCI, uh, first of all, you can only work with the uh, synchronous motor because you need to overexcite it to get the current leading the uh, voltage. Now also, uh, when, when when you drive the uh, Motor with the VSI, the typically during the running, when, when, when you adjust the speed, you know, the power factor of the motor is always keep one. So that means you know the current of the motor will be minimal, with lost the current, and the high efficiency on the motor, and also the uh, high efficiency on the drive, and also for sizing the current of the drive because the PF is uh, is one, so the current is minimized. But for the LCI drive, you know, the current should be leading and also the pull factor is about 9.9. .9. So you have a high current and high loss on the winding on the drive. And also for the motor design, the special design on the subtransient reactants for the motor design. So that will also increase the cost of the uh, motor. And the reliability, both of, them, both of them are reliable. And for the starting torque, you know, uh, LCI because of the uh, harmonic and uh, torque repo, so normally is 40 to 80 to 50 percent, but for the VSI is much higher. Now here is a typical outlook of the LCI drive. Here's the rectifier ACU DC reactor on the DC DC to AC control. And the second type of current source drive is we call the SGCT current source. SGCT, first we know IGCT is a kind of a power electronics device. I integrated gate commutated thyristor. So IGCT is like this with the inverse parallel diode. This is normally used in the VSI drive, but for the SGCT, it's like this. It doesn't have the uh, reverse diode. So S is for symmetrical. Because IGCT, you know, the, the if you put the voltage on the reverse bias because of the, uh, the, the, the conducting uh, diode, you know, you cannot withstand the reverse voltage. But SGCT, you can withstand the reverse voltage. So there's a difference between those two components. And SGT is also gate controller. So it's different from SCR, you know, S SGC can either be turned on or turned off by the uh, gate signal. So it's kind of fully controlled components. And you can use a PWM, current PWM on, on the SCT inverter to make sure you know you have a high frequency, relatively high frequency. And different from SCR, you know, LCI, SCI is like a cycle control, not a PWM control. And the output waveform is much better. And there will be a small filter on the output side. And on the rectified side, is typically also use SCR, or sometimes people will also use S. SGCT as a rectifier uh, on the line side. So for SCR, you can have uh, like uh, this topology is like eight, eight pulse. because so you have two set of uh, rectifier and uh, each secondary, you have a 20 degree phase shift and you have a 18 pulse rectifier. So this is a uh, current and the voltage waveform of the SGCT inverter, SCT current source inverter. And this is a typical outlook of SGC current source inverter. Uh, SGCT current source inverter is uh, manufactured by only one manufacturer, the uh, Rockwell. So this is all for today's section. Thank you.